Good evening, this is uh, Team High Society. My name is Justin, also known as Credence, and today we're bringing you another review. We've got the YKS uh, patch or panel antenna. It's rated um, for 14 dBi reception on 5.8 gigahertz. We're gonna see how it stacks up against the Emergent RC slash Fat Shark 5.8 that everyone's familiar with, and uh, go from there. Let's take a closer look at it and see how it specs out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we've got the YKS antenna here, the patch antenna. And um, overall, just first impressions, uh, it's pretty decent quality, actually. So we'll show you real quick here the fat shark. And you can already see that the difference between the coax, if we can get it lined up here, the YKS has actually got a pretty thick coax. Um, so the, the fat shark, if you've got one handy, you can see the same thing. It's kind of got a plasticky feel to it. It's not bad. It's a nice antenna, and it retains its shape really well. Uh, they do have a tendency to get bent pretty hard at the joints if you uh, touch down, but um, that's a side note. So the Fat Shark has a SMA connector. You can tell here by the pin in the center. And the YKS has a RP SMA on this particular model. I'm sure they'll have an SMA available. And um, So you can see that coax is quite a bit thicker. It's got a rubberized coating on it. You're finding the same coating on the you know, backside of new phones and all over stuff. It's, it's just real rubbery. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, build quality is pretty good. Uh, you know, they've, they've got some bubbles here in the sticker, but nothing that's going to affect performance. And um, the same, I really like these coaxes that everyone's switching to that retain their shape. It's, you know, it's, it's not returning. It's not rebounding. We're looking pretty good here. So we'll take a couple quick measurements. We've got, it's a two and a quarter on the top here. And we've got, I believe it was two and a half on the side. Yeah, it's two and a half. And for those of us who are running in mills, we got, uh, we're looking at about 57 on the top here. And we're doing right about 61, 62 um, for the uh, height on there. Depth wise, we were looking at eight mils and I believe it was close to a quarter. No, I lied. So, uh, we're looking pretty good. So I have had a chance to fly with this antenna, and uh, I will have to say, paired up against a Fat Shark, it's really good. Um, being a bit directional with panel, I, I still got reception just flying behind myself, um, but coming over the top, it gets a little wonky. But out front, that picture is just locked in. Um, so the one of the guys over here, I have the top plate off, but I was running the 600 milliwatt Boz cam on it, and I've also got a 200 milliwatt uh, race band. Uh, it's the Lumineer, and uh, both of them I had no problems with out in a field. I was flying a fairly decent distance on them, but the the reception was pretty locked in. Now this guy, it doesn't really change much. I can fly over the top of myself, all behind. It, it's, this one, when you just come over the top, it's it's a little bit of a phase on the reception, but um. Nothing that would stop me from using it, but certainly the performance that you get when you're flying out ahead of yourself, uh, this thing's worth buying. I would certainly pick it up. So anyways, hope that's uh, hope that helps you, and uh, stay tuned. We've got the 5.5 by 4.5s, these new ones from HQ, the, the Bullnose. Man, these things are gnarly looking. I've run the other ones, the 5-inch. The I've got some Gem Fan 5045s. Avoid those, by the way. Uh, but these things, just look at the meat on this. This is a ZMR uh, V2 frame from uh, FPV model. That'll come up next. But um, in the meantime, grab this and uh, hold on. We'll get some props next. Take care, guys.